Today we're going to be reviewing the ongoing crime series, Vietcon. Over to Daddy for the close-ups. Okay, alright, that's right guys. So, we have... So we have guys, the one of the foot soldiers guys, this is the uh, car version of the Viet Cons. There's also jets that we don't have. We have, I don't think we have any planes actually from the uh, Transformers Prime show. The cars are pretty awesome though. I love those cars. And this one you guys will see here in a minute. So we have a very accurate gun here. I don't know what this clip is for. But, no, oh, actually, you know what, maybe I do. So here's the thing to plug it into the car. So, because if he holds it like this, he's holding it sideways, right? Yeah, what does he want to shoot? The side of Megatron's ship? Yeah. And then right. Megatron comes out. You better have insurance for that. <laughs> that would be, that'd be interesting if I was actually the show. Megatron talking about whether or not his vehicles have insurance. <laughs> yes, indeed. I guess it... It sort of fits over his hand like this, so at least he can point it correctly. Do you think it's like this? Yeah. Must be, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there it is, guys. So there's his weapon. It's a very good weapon. Okay. And you can see here, guys, that he has got acrylic in his head, guys. And of course, what does that mean? It means you can light up. Yes, light up the visor, guys. Got a little articulation. It's a ball joint, I believe, here. Take a look around. So guys, one of our favorite scenes from Transformers Prime is when, um, who is it? Uh, was it Megatron that was throwing these guys off of the ship to go chase after the Autobots? And then one of them transformed into a car and <laughs> crashed into the ground instead of a jet. <laughs> yeah. Was it Megatron or was it like Knockout or something? No, Knockout was there. Cliff Jumper, I think. Cause, no, Cliff Jumper was gone, but it was, it was towards the end part, part of the series, guys, and He's saying, "Oh, we need <laughs> we need somebody who's who's not a car, you know, because they're transforming into uh, jets to go chase the uh, Autobots." Guys, definitely, it's a great show. You should. You it should was watch Wheeljack it. who they were chasing. It was Wheeljack they were chasing, but I try to remember whose line that was. I think it was. I think it was. Uh, um, I think it was Knockout's line when he said that. But so, guys, this is a very heavy, heavily, heavily accurate, detailed. Deluxe class toy guys. So this really nails the character extremely well. It's it's black, so some of this isn't showing up super well. But you've got the paint here, guys. You've got uh, a lot of the detail lines here, details in the back. It's just you got the paint right there, guys. It's just it's very very well done. Prime guys, the toy line for Prime was actually, if not the best toy line that Hasbro ever did, certainly one of them. And the best show I've ever made for Transformers. It is certainly the best show, yes. But, I mean, the toy line itself was also <laughs> awesome. I'm not sure if I would say that. I was, I was getting there. So this is very show accurate, guys. And you yeah. can see in robot mode, he's actually really, really good also. I like that toy a lot. Yeah, this is, this is one I've had my eye on trying to find for quite a while, guys. How'd you find it? And this was... Uh, one of the one of the many that uh, we got from Ko Dave, uh, Ko Twitter, Twitter Dave. user Ko Dave. So shout out to him. The the foots are a little odd here, guys, but it, I mean you can see it's very very stable in robot mood. I know how to transform it, and he's one like one of the easiest. Look at this, guys. Okay, so you pop the back right here, right? You're done. It's done. <laughs> Whoa, it looks just like a mess. <laughs> okay, okay. So actually then, you fold the arms out like, like that, right? You fold, you see this part? Connect that part. Swivel it, hide the hands. Meow. 
Just in case you missed it. Tick. Squibble. Then you just move this in. Like this. We're done. Yeah, it looks exactly like not finished. So then we uh, move the knee parts right here, right? Then we flip the feet in, and then we do it from there. We fold those in. So it's the inside of the vehicle on the work, then connect these two parts. I wonder how you would actually do that. <laughs> Just trying to connect these parts. Mm. Trying to connect those parts to your arm. Just trying to. Yeah, it would be, it'd be like you'd have a lot of broken bones if you attempted to do this as a human. So. Uh, guys, for all of you watching out there, do not attempt to do this with uh, your own limbs. That'll be... Unless you're that'll very... Be bad. That'll unless be, you're yeah. very, 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 very flexible. I think that would require a flexibility that would not have any bone structure. Like, so yeah, if you're a jellyfish... Guys, if you are a jellyfish that happens to be watching this, give it a shot. Everybody else, maybe not. Maybe not. And then you just fold this out. Like so. You fold this out like so. You know, the old roof canopy action. Yeah. All right. Keep. Pull this all back. And this car looks surprisingly accurate. Snap. Now, now the matter. Hold on. Now the matter is get the tabs in. And then if you watch our other videos, you know what to do. Snap, crackle, pop. Yes, indeed. Classic. Voila. Okay, guys, and there it is. And then all you do from there is, if you want the gun on, plug the old gun in. And then you could uh, shoot the, you could shoot other cars on the road. <laughs> no, if you had like, if you had um, if you had Thanos's gauntlet, you could just, if it had like a power source, you could just snap and turn the cars into ducks and drive like through it. Yes, indeed, guys. So we are doing apparently a uh, Marvel, Marvel Cinematic Universe crossover here with Transformers Prime. I'm just saying, like, it that would make it a ton of, a lot easier to drive. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't really have to stop for anything at that point. You had a disintegration ray. I guess it's fortunate that uh, that technology doesn't exist. A. Eh? All right, guys. So let's take a look at this without the. Oh my gosh, energy weapon. And you can see the spoilers got some movement here. <laughs> this is uh, actually kind of cool to have this. It's, it's a little bit of a Batman design there for the spoiler guys. <laughs> and. Oh. Batman design. Okay. Why did Batman and one of their Transformers? There we go. There. Once the notch is in, though, you lose some of that movement. You Aww. can see there. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you just don't transform it all the way. <laughs> so the front of this, guys, has sort of a Cadillac CTS look to it. Cadillac CTS. And, of course, guys, we have these awesome rims. Uh, Leo's correct. It is very show accurate. And you can see, so if you put this next to another transformer from the show uh, on the good guys team, their cars extend out a little bit further, which I think is kind of an interesting touch. You got some... Accents here guys. What I really like is these clear acrylic for the headlights That is a cool 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 touch guys. In fact, actually, let's see if we can bring one of these in for you because these These have a very delicate yet lovely structure I can't see. Can delicate you? yet lovely yes, structure yes. Yeah, there you can see it this thing does not want to stay notched together for some reason. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, guys, so from the... Uh oh, oh, that's why. Because this is not aligned correctly. Okay. There, now it's in... Still have just a... T now we have a lot less on the spoiler articulation. So, putting this together right kind of ends the spoiler articulation. That's but you can see... Sad. From the back, it's pretty cool. It doesn't have, it's got some some hints at taillights, but it doesn't have actual taillights. You've got the exhaust here. Uh, you can see he's, you can actually see the robot. So if that bothers you guys when the robot's in vehicle mood, uh, be aware of that. But you can see this is a very cool looking vehicle. This is one of the few toys from any of the lines that I would consider getting two of. So I could have one of them, and there's a 
pile of them in the show, of course, but if you had two of them, you could have one of them in the very, very cool robot mood, and one of the also equally awesome vehicle mode. And this, guys, I think is one of the actual... Oh, whoa. Look at this, guys. You have a sort of lightning strike on the side. Did you see that? Can I see? Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's right here. It's right by the by the window. So, guys, you could have one of each one. Now, now, so on this car, in my view, this is one of the best things that, not only from this timeline, but from any timeline. And, guys, it's because... Why, why do I think that, Leo, that this is one of the best? Because... Right, exactly right, buddy. It is because it looks awesome in both vehicle and robot move. So there are a few other uh, toys as well, guys, where it looks... Yeah. Like, like to me, uh, guys, Optimus, I think, always looks better in, in uh, robot mood. Like, I don't really care about semi-trucks. So to me, Optimus looks awesome. Pretty much always in robot mood and almost never in vehicle mode. Unless it's a high detail truck. Even still, I, I, I like, I mean, that's cool, but I'm not, I don't care about, about semi trucks. That, like, they're not of interest to me. So, no matter how great he is, it's never going to be something where I'm like, oh, oh, that's a really cool vehicle mode. Look, it's Tiny Iron Man. We also have. Um, there's there's some other ones that have been um, through through the years that are equally cool in both modes. I'm trying to think of another one. There's um, wheel jack. Yeah, yeah, actually, yes, wheel jack. Yeah, that's a good one. So wheel jack and the dark iron John wheel jack from Prime, of course, was awesome. It's another outstanding both modes. Uh, smoke screen was also very very good, guys. RC. In fact, we need another one of him. Um, RC was. Honestly, okay. I like in in transformation. I don't really care about bikes. Uh, and her vehicle mode was so her be, or her robot mode was a lot like uh, knockouts for me, where it was okay. Uh, same thing with um, with uh, we had Soundwave at one time, and Soundwave I actually didn't like in either mode. So Soundwave is not one we're going to replace. But guys, we're um, we're getting close to the end of Prime. I think we're just one or two figures away nice. from uh, exactly. from having it collected. Yeah, I mean Prime, great show, guys. Definitely from up for in my view the best ever. And guys, I think the toy line. Guys, what, what's your favorite toy line, dude? What do you think out of all the toy lines? Good question. My favorite line is Revenge of the Fallen. <laughs> yeah, Revenge of the Fallen was it had a lot of cool stuff in it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Dark of the Moon had interesting stuff. Age of Extinction wasn't too bad. Well, what about the first movie? Yeah, the movie, the movie toys were all... Well, you know, actually, the mo first movie had a lot of automorph stuff, which I wasn't a super fan of, but... I mean, a lot of the movie toys are actually really good, guys. The studio series seems like it's pretty good so far. The sublines, though, like Prime Wars, I think those were okay. Yeah. Combiner Wars, Combiner Wars are sturdy, but... As, as far as actual visuals, those are okay. Should we start the transformation? Oh, yeah, we probably should have. <laughs> okay. okay, so the first thing I like to do, plug this, plug it back in, and we're done. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys. So actually, you fold the doors like a flying door. So then, to do, is from there, you have this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Then you bring it forward, like this. <clears throat> like it's a mouse trap. Just one heap. Then to then to jumping on you swan. Opt. Then you have to fold back. Boop, boop. Then you fold the swan's feet. And now he's still like this. So you want to bring that here. Then swoop it back to a hand. Swoop it back to a hand. And then you do the motion. Flip it, fold it back. Ba bam you got your Viet Con. That wants a pullover. 
And there he is, guys. Yeah, it's, he's pretty lucky he split to get back into Riva mood he's from Vehicle easy. Mood. It's a fast transformation. It's a cool one, though, guys. I like it. It's it's very, very, very solid. Carrie. This is a really, really, really great figure, guys. So definitely, if you like Prime, this is uh, definitely one of the best ones. So if you find one, we encourage you to buy it. Yes, guys. You, you'd have to get it probably used at this point, guys. But this is well worth having. Unfortunately, the toy line at this point is probably about 12 years old. So you guys are going to have to dig for it a little bit. But collector shops, guys, uh, I see them all the time on collector Amazon. Collector shops, comic search shops, Amazon is the way to go. Yeah, you could check any of those sources, guys. It, it's on Amazon a lot. But for sure, guys, this is definitely uh, one of the best figures in that uh, in that entire line. But guys, there it is. Our look at... Me hugging a chair. Yes, our look at Leo hugging a chair. <laughs> okay, and I can't he's doing that. He's doing a pretzel hug. Uh, so guys... There it is, Prime, Transformers Prime, Deluxe Class, Viacon Car. Me! Oh, you recommend, if you buy me, I recommend you buy me! Yay! Guys, oh. if you did enjoy this video, please give us the old thumbs up. <laughs> Hit the red subscribe button, guys, if you've not done so already. So, guys, this is one of the videos where we're going to be changing our end message to you a little bit. Now, depending on what happens with the changes at YouTube, you may not have an option to hit the blue bell for notification anymore. So... If it's there, great, hit it. If it doesn't, if it's not there, guys, follow us on Twitter because the comments, guys, if the blue bell is not there, comments will be gone also, guys. So follow us on Twitter where you can see all the updates to the channel as well as Twitter-specific content. But if you want to comment on the videos, it probably, guys, for toys will have to be on Twitter only. Uh, and you can definitely direct any comments you might have about that change to YouTube itself. It is uh, unfortunately nothing to do with us and nothing we can have any impact on, guys, at the moment. But Twitter, guys, is a good place for you to follow us for sure. Uh, guys, we would normally say to leave us a comment about your thoughts and everything. And again, if there's that option for the video, great. If not, guys, certainly we would love to have you on Twitter. So, uh, in closing, guys, Twitter, 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 Twitter. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us this time. We will see you all and possibly even sooner on Twitter next time. Wait, what does this look like now? It looks like a pretzel gone horribly wrong. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.